<laughs> hey guys, Spin the Demon here. Uh, I'm just going to do a part two of my Atari 7800 unboxing and uh, my new game pickups video, same video, um, because the there's not much left that can be said. The first part pretty much sums it up. So this will be uh, new game pickups. Love the 7800 and it, it's all kind of related. So let's start with the stuff I got. Come over here. Uh, from Goodwill. First off, Shining Force. Uh, I got this for a fair deal. It does have a puncture. Pretty bad one. And it has a little rattle to it. Uh, I got it because um, I got it for a buddy of mine. And I'm just going to give it to him. Uh, so this is already gone. I already have this game. But uh, the price was right. And picked it up from my buddy. And then let's see here. Um, Hogan's Alley. Collecting all the light gun games for the NES. Got $2.99. I know that's a little bit more. But it was my price tag. So it was 50% off on that. So instead of 3 bucks, it was $1.50. Uh, same with Contra because it was my uh, code you know how they do that at Goodwill you get like two colors are like 10% off and then one color is like 50% off and then you get like senior citizen discounts and stuff I'm usually unlucky and this game I pay full price for uh, <laughs> none of the colors are like mine no matter how much it changes I never get lucky there uh, Super Mario Brothers Duck Hunt World Track Meet. Now I have all the different versions of uh, the first Super Mario Brothers on NES. This completes it. I got all the three screw, five screw, everything. So, pretty happy. Plus I get to play World Track, World Class Track Meet on my Mac that I just picked up not too long ago. Uh, two ninety nine, half off, Road Rash 2. This is complete. I love Road Rash. I have Road Rash, uh, 3D for PS1, and I have Road Rash uh, for the Sega Saturn, but I don't have, I've never played 2 or 3 for the Genesis, so this will be pretty cool, and EA's ridiculously long, ugly cart that they put out for the Genesis, sorry if you guys like them, you know, I'm not trying to say anything like that or start a war, I just don't care for the look, I think this looks so much cooler, actually I like the first line of Genesis games even better than the ones with the, like, little red. I don't know, I think that's cool because once it's in the Genesis it kind of cuts off and you just have a picture with no title or no nothing. Just awesomeness at its finest. So that's why I like that. But uh, I'm not a big fan of these Log Nogogi cards. Um, yeah, they have more megs in them and that's why they're bigger. And um, I'm not trying to say that. Uh, that's just a personal opinion, guys. But uh, I'm not a big fan. Alright, moving on. I got Dick Tracy. I don't really care for this one on NES, uh, but hopefully I checked out the back and it does, you know, look better. So I'm going to give it a shot. If I don't like it, I'll trade it. Uh, that's also complete. Pay the same price. Same sticker. So that's Goodwill. I did pick up some 64 games and some other stuff from Goodwill, but uh, it's all traded off, so there's really no sense, or sold on eBay, so there's really no sense uh, of even showing you. Now, today over at Gamers Planet, I stopped in, and they, they gave me a, a, I traded in a Super Nintendo, and I ended up only paying a penny difference for everything that I got in store credit. Um, they gave me uh, more store credit, they gave me double credits, because uh, I bought a Sega Saturn set of controllers, two controllers, brand new, Naki controllers. I know they're third party, but they didn't have any first party there. I bought two of them to go along with this trade to make sure there's two fresh controllers in there for my 7800. And, you know, I get a message saying, hey, dude, this controller, this controller don't work. So I brought the other controller because it didn't fit in the first package. I had a, we ended up sending like three packages. And uh, I went over there just furious with that controller. And I was like, this don't work. It's right out of the box. And, uh... I'm guessing the other, you know, the other one I sent to a buddy made me look like a fool. Um, it's very embarrassing. I just kind of explained to the owner that this is this is crap. And a couple of the, uh, well, the manager, um, he's a friend, and uh, just explained what was going on. And they were just being totally cool. Me and um, or my girlfriend and I, I should say, are huge, huge customers of the store. We love it. It's our favorite store. And I was just irritated. Because you know what's what's the quality there? You buy two uh, you buy two controllers, and 
you know, you're told by another employee you can't get your money back and you're just screwed. But they took care of me 100%. I got plenty of money there, plenty of credits. Uh, rambling now. So let's just get to the good stuff. Uh, first off, I picked up a Game Boy cleaning kit. And it works for Game Boy Color, Game Boy Pocket, all kinds of Game Boys. I actually use it on all kinds of things. Um, it's just, these kits basically are the same stuff. A bottle solution and a clever type of cleaning tool that fits your console. But you can, you know, I have the tools for all the others. And it just gives me more solution and gives me little teeny ones for the instruments for the Game Boy. So I'll probably use that on other things too. I mean, you can use them on others. Uh, fade to Black couple discs in this one. Anything that's just a disc at this store I've mentioned in a few videos is just a dollar. And uh, it's like buy three, get one free. World Rally, and that's on everything in their stores. Buy three, get one free on used. Uh, used Retro. Pac-Man, World Rally, have this for the GameCube. Want to compare them. Frogger, Fox. Fox! Eh. I'll just say that. No book in there, I don't believe. Uh, I didn't look, but there's no book. Yeah, there's no book. I didn't need to look, you can tell. Um, too light. 250 Fair price for me. I like Roger. Now, I was going through my 64 collection, and I have these two wrestling games. I love wrestling games, but I can't find the game. Uh, that's a good way to steal for me. Just take my game and leave the box. I'm just really getting tired of it. Anyways, rambling again, I replaced WrestleMania 2000 and WCW vs. NWO Revenge again. I've uh, been replacing those games my entire life. Um, this really irritates me here that all the stickers are like that. They don't sticker their games like that anymore. But, uh, pay 50 cents for Jungle Hunt on the 2600. Uh, this is in jacked up condition I just want to play it I have no games for my new 7800 and they didn't have really any games they pulled their 52 and 7800 games because they bundled them with consoles for their big uh, day after Thanksgiving sale so uh, Pitfall beat up gross right there look at that it's funny, they're so darn picky about what they take in, but man, you find some dirty crap in their store. You gotta make sure it looks really good. You gotta sell or refurbish that thing for them to consider taking it. But every time I buy anything, it has five inches of dust and it's dirty. But that's what they invented cleaning kits for. I still love the store. Uh, Super Breakout. Pay not two ninety nine dollars a dollar for that. I love Sega. Another beat up game, but I had to have it. Uh, Congo Bongo. Uh, this is a popular game. I've heard a lot of people talk about it. Paid 50 cents for that. Uh, Smurf. Had to check it out. Uh, Venture. Another beat up cart, but I'm just trying to kind of build my collection to play, not, not for collecting. I'm collecting them, but you know what I'm saying. They're, these are just to play and try it out. I've never had an Atari, so that all this is new to me. Venture. I play collections, ROMs, and whatnot, but not like this. A lot of these games I've never even heard of. Demon Attack. Pretty interesting. Cartridge. That's what drew me to that one. Um, Omega Race. The only reason I got this game is because it says RAM Plus. I want to see how the graphics are. Uh, Donkey Kong for the 2600. Classic. Look at Mario. Hopefully that's not too fuzzy. I think I'm still in night vision mode in its day. So There's Mario. <laughs> so cool how what Mario's evolved to. It looks nothing like that. Uh, this is trash. I'm going to have to clean this. Here's where I'm really worried. Look at that. That's pop. That's straight up soda pop. So, wish me luck. Uh, I, they didn't make me pay for that. Blaxian. A dollar. Asteroids, another classic. Um, I'll trade this, give it away. I only paid 50 cents. I'm not going to lie and say it's 50 cents, so I'll probably just give it and not even trade it. 
uh, as soon as I get the 7800 version. Another badly labeled damage, but a classic. I'm um, building my, you know, Cubert, 50 cents, you know, who cares for 50 cents? I'm just down to play that. Uh, when I start getting anal about my collection, I will for sure start looking for better condition games. But right now, these are fine. Battle Zone. Uh, this is another one. They had it in their display in the back for some reason. And I was just like, hey, can I ha can I buy that? And they was like, oh, you can have that. And I was like, oh, sweet. I don't argue for free stuff. I've never played Defender 1. I have it on tons of uh, collections, but I've never played Defender 1, just two. So I can't wait to play that. I can't believe I haven't played Defender 1. You're not the only ones, guys. But I can't believe that. Uh... Phoenix, this one's disgustingly dirty. <laughs> oh man, I don't even know if the camera picks that all up. I don't even like touching that one. <laughs> and uh, last uh, is a game I've told is awesome. I haven't played it, and the cover's awesome. Usually all the covers on the 2600 are way cool, very deceiving. Uh, if you know nothing about the 2600, of course that's pretty much impossible. Uh, <laughs> to know nothing about the 2600 but you know if you just pick this up and you're just getting into retro gaming you'd be like look at those graphics awesome yeah you're in for a surprise <laughs> well here it is here's all the loot uh this all right there a penny because of the trade-in got a good good buy good trade-in and uh all that stuff you know uh, i bought other stuff i bought vinyl i bought cassette tapes, I bought VHS tapes, so it's hard to say I spent $40 altogether, and I know that wasn't $40. I think I bought a new Kenwood tape player, because uh, mine's starting to go bad, and that was the bulk of what cost money. It was really nice. So there it is. Have any requests for videos, let me know. Uh, I'm working on a new video of my PSP collection as of request, just letting you know I am working on that. I just have to do part two of this video before I do any new videos. I know I said it was my next one, but, you know, the next one after this. And, uh, trades, guys. Uh, I'm loving that everybody's messaging me to trade. I, I like to trade. I really do. This is fun. Um, if you message me for a trade, give me time. I'm getting a lot of these, and uh, I will get back to you. I never not get back to somebody. I always get back to them. And I'm working on a trade list. I don't have one because I usually just trade with stores. Uh, so I'm working on a trade list. If you approach me, you're sending first. Unless we've already been in trades before or you have like really good feedback through eBay, Racketboy.com or any, any reputable place to give me some feedback. But if you come to me for a trade, you're sending first unless you have feedback. Uh, I have a lot of feedback too. If I approach you, I'll send first. But I usually never approach anybody for a trade. If I see that somebody's interested in something, I say, hey, I got a bunch of these games. And anything that I'm willing to trade, I'm willing to sell. So it doesn't have to be just a trade. I'm looking for TurboGrafx-16, 7800, Dreamcast, and PC Engine items. That's what I'm looking for. So... Uh, I'll be making a trades list and I'll be getting back to you guys. Sorry I'm going on and on about that. It's just been kind of overwhelming. Uh, not that I'm mad or anything. I think it's great. I'm getting some really cool stuff that I've never been able to get unless it wasn't for these trades. So I'm really stoked about it. But uh, give me time guys to get this trade list put together. I got a lot of stuff to weed through. Like My collection is bigger than like meets the eye because I sell so much stuff. I have so much stuff I sell on eBay that I don't list that as part of my collection. That's my that's my secondary income. That's how I survive. So I I can trade some of that stuff too. Give me a little bit of time. I'm working on it. I've got a little bit made up. And as for uh, Nintendo 64 games, you guys have pretty much cleaned out anything extra I got as of right now. I will keep you updated when I find some more. Yard sale season is over. Garage sale season and swap meet season is over. But there's still a lot of retro game stores I like to go to. Still pawn shops I like to go to. So hope's not done. I'm right at my time limit, guys. Until next time, I'll see you in the later at stuckinthe90s.webs.com.